Here we are halfway through the December turn in Korea. Uh, still 1950. And seeing a massive outflank attempt uh, that was made by the Chinese. Now, the UN forces have spread out to try to avoid being outflanked because Seoul would be fairly untenable if, uh, if it ends up being walled in that way. Uh, we also saw the uh, Marines up here in the mountains. They got knocked out. Um, the other troops on the coast, though, which were almost as vulnerable, did not. So the path to Busan is not as open as it could be. Plus, there's units reconstituting back there. Um, just a thought, I think I figured out what is different. I think I did a little higher escalation in this game than I normally do. Uh, I think my initial mobilization level was uh, four, and normally I go for three. I have the feeling that when I've played before, I got to the point where I had chased the North Koreans across the border, taken Seoul, and had the option on whether or not to cross the border and risk a limited uh, Chinese intervention, and there weren't enough ROK units for that option, or to cross in force and risk a full Chinese intervention. Or I was in the position where I simply could not uh, possibly lose, which could only happen if the global tensions table could only result in zeros. And the commitment I took this time initially was that good, but when you add the, uh, the Formosa invasion and you add uh, the extra air support I put in, there was a chance. It also could have been the, the, the fact that, it, it could have simply been that I got lucky every other time. But I don't think so. I think that I was able to, halfway through the game, make the judgment, the U.S. cannot lose. And therefore I will not finish. Because there's just nothing to do. Um, I think I crossed over once before, but I'm not sure. Um, but this is certainly a different situation than I've seen before. Uh, We'll see. The Chinese may be able to uh, to push this into a definite um, red victory. So here's the situation in New Year's, uh, 1950. Um, Chinese have advanced around the uh, flank of the UN forces. A lot of jockeying for position there, attacks, counterattacks, etc. The nature of the system uh, causes that kind of effect. We also see these... Uh, the division in place here is being invested. Um, a strong point like that's tough to, to take out all at once. Uh, and it's in an unpleasant location, even though it's along the road. Um, but now the Chinese have to start playing by the rules. Uh, this is the end of the initiative period, and they're going to be forced to start tracing supply. So making a broad-based attack like this, I mean, they're in a position where they can probably set the supply up and do it, but it becomes a lot harder, especially with UN uh, interdiction taking place. Now, the UN is going to seriously be considering upping their uh, commitments in various levels, um, probably air support, uh, possibly... Uh, Possibly their overall uh, intervention level as well. Because at this point, if they just hold what they've got for the rest of the game, they're going to end up around 130 points, which is a minor, uh, a minor communist victory. Uh, what happened was we got another point in the global tensions table, and that was at the beginning of the last turn, and that just cut their odds down. They're no longer in a position where they even really have a decent chance of winning just holding Seoul. And holding Seoul might be tough right now, although there a lot of UN units died this turn. Um, that's the problem. And that Chinese attack was more effective than I thought it would be. So no matter what, it may just be unpleasant for them. Funny how when it started uh, looking so good for the UN, 
it ended up not working out too well for them. Uh, anyway. 